have these painted up. This is the new model. I had these painted up. I hot glued some sticks on here. I'm gonna load spiders in here and we'll see what they do. I catch spiders in sandwich bags. It's, it's pretty easy. I can carry a lot of sandwich bags in my pocket when I'm out looking for spiders. And I just put them in there and um, you just gotta make sure they don't get squished. But anyway, here's a kind of a small one. I'm gonna try to put this one on in here and see if it works. This may be the smallest. I got two, they're kind of the same size. We'll see, I'll go with this one and see what, see what it does. Anyway, I say these spiders are harmless. I mean, all spiders have fangs, so, Oh, you saw that? All spiders have fangs. So, I mean, it could theoretically bite you. When they're this small, they're just so, they're just so, so tiny that it's almost like you would be, uh, you would be more dangerous to the spider because it could possibly get hurt. So what I'm gonna try to do is get it to go onto this habitat there you go. So it's it's on the habitat. It doesn't really know what it is yet. So if I'm just holding it here, you just kind of see it on the bottom. It doesn't really like crawling on your skin. If it can feel like, you know, when you move, it feels like, oh goodness, it's an earthquake or something. So it'll try to move away from that. Now, what I need to do is to get it into the, the black area so that I can get this glass dome on. Okay, so it just crawled back on my hand. Don't let it go in your shirt. Like I said, I mean, the worst thing is for it to go in your shirt and you squish it. That's probably the worst thing. You get spider guts in your shirt. So I'm gonna do this this way where if I can get it to go in this little glass dome. Okay, so it's in the bottom of the dome now. And what I can do now is turn this upside down and gently put this in. Okay, now we're, the spider is, is trapped. Can't get out and then I'll flip this over. Okay. And can you even see? Okay, yeah, there, there she is down there in the corner. Down there in the corner, you can see the legs right there. Now, I'm gonna leave this in a not in direct sunlight. If you put these in direct sunlight, it's gonna turn into a greenhouse and the spider will die. It'll get too hot. But if you leave it in an area where, you know, like ambient light comes in, sunlight comes in, and then at night it gets dark, the spider will want to naturally go into that little hole, the little crevice, because that's what they do in, in nature. I mean, all this really is doing is replicating the natural behavior of the spider into a little small habitat. It's, that's all. That's all this is. The same thing with the uh, with the spider keep. Okay. Next up, I have kind of a. See how those are smaller and a little bit bigger. I'll put this one. These are the two same sizes. I'm kind of you know I'm kind of experimenting with the actual hole size. Uh, messed up the paint there. I'll sand that off. Um, we're kind of experimenting with what is the right size hole for the right size spider. So this is a little bit smaller spider. We're going to put this one. Whoa. Okay. That one's going 50 miles an hour. Wow. Okay. If you will slow down. This one was fast. I mean, that's, I guess that's kind of like the creep factor is this thing just jumps out of the bag. I mean, I mean, honestly, you don't. <clears throat> it's a harmless spider. So, like I said, the worst thing is for you to squish it or you to damage the leg or something like that. So, you have to be very careful. Okay. So, there it is. We're going to try to get that into this area and get the glass on. And. There we go. It's in the glass now. We will Let me 
my trade trade glasses. One of these was a little bit bigger and it fit perfectly on there. Okay. So there's that one loaded. Now, what uh what I did with the with the paint, I put gloss paint. Okay, we'll, we'll see how that'll come in handy later. But everything that I do with these things, there's a purpose. So if you just copy what I'm doing, you, you will be successful. Now you can paint, you can paint it, you know, whatever color you want to paint it, that's fine. But um, gloss paint will be able to clean up a little bit better is, is my thought there. All right, here's another one. Got this one in a little cup. We'll put, we'll just put this one straight into the glass, excuse me. We'll just put this one straight into the glass and then drop it down onto the top. There you go, easy. Into the top. Okay. Now you just wanna be careful that you don't squish a leg or something like that. So this one, you know, all we're gonna do is rotate that to the back so the hole is covered. The spider is in the front. I've got my sticks glued. So what we should see is the spider start making web from the hole out to the sticks. Once it starts doing that, we'll feed it. And once she, once she gets some food in the web, she's like, okay, success. I will keep doing what I'm doing and uh, it should work out. All right, I got two more. Hmm. Let's see here. Now these bigger ones, they're a little bit bigger. We'll drop this one into the glass again. This, that's so easy. They just run, right? That's all they try to do is get away. And that's what makes these easy to deal with is once you figure out the, the behavior of the spider, the spider just wants to get away. They don't like to be messed with. They don't like to be held. They just want to get away. That's all they want to do. Now, I'm going to spin this. You just want to be careful when you're spinning this that you don't, you know, capture a leg in there. Just be careful with it. You can get some, you know, side to side movement on it. Just be careful with it. And if they happen to make web onto the glass, you just rotate the glass and it will basically mess the web up except for where it's attached uh, to the sticks. And and you just twist it. That's all you do. You're kind of like cleaning the web off. And then once it gets, if you get a lot of web on the glass, I mean, obviously you could take the glass off and clean the glass and, and all that good stuff. But this should be pretty good. All right, last one here. I'm going to take this one into the, the glass as well. Now, handling these spiders, that's, I mean, you just, that's something you just kind of get used to. I've been doing it for a while. I mean, even the big ones, they kind of freak me out. I'll just, you know, I, I just, I don't want to get bit. I'm not Coyote Peterson. I don't brave the wilderness. I'm not that brave. I don't want to get bit. So I just try to be gentle, be careful, and be cautious. That's kind of my philosophy with this whole thing. And Southern House Spider, I mean, you really don't have to be be afraid of it. They are not trying to get you. All they're trying to do is to get out, get away, and be safe. That's all they're trying to do. All right, so I'll line them back up here. We have spiders loaded into five, and I need <laughs> I need a name for this thing, so y'all help me out. I was thinking of 
spider mott. If you go look in, at what a mott in Bailey Castle is, go look that up on in a book or in the internet or whatnot. So you have basically the little fortress down on the bottom and then a mound and then a, a keep up at the top. And that's what my thought was for this is because of this steep angle. I mean, that's what that made me think of is like a spider mott. People don't know what a mod is, so that may not be the best name for this thing. My second choice was Spider Tower. So I don't know. You guys help me out. What do you think? Um, all right, let me line them up here. I'll do a little roll call view. And I'm just going to leave them sitting right here for a couple days. And we'll come back and look at them. And I'll, sh I'll show you how much of the web has been built up. All right, stand by.